In 2014, Theodore Melfi hit out of the park with his directorial and writing debut, St. Vincent. It's a really great comedy with really great and well-realized characters with a lot of really great comedic moments to it. And now we have his second writing directorial film, Hidden Figures. So how does Theodore Melfi do with his second film? Let's find out. Running from the man, running from the bad. Hey there everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here and I'm here to review Hidden Figures. So Hidden Figures, as I said in my intro, it is written and directed by Theodore Melfi who brought St. Vincent, a really great and underrated comedy film in my opinion. The film stars Taranji P. Henson, Octavia Spencer, Janelle Monet, Kevin Costner, Jim Parsons, and Kirsten Dunst. Hidden Figures does tell the true story of these three African American women that work for NASA and they have to give important mathematical data to NASA in order for them to have the first successful space mission. And I definitely have to say Head and Figures is one solid biopic. I think it is a very well told storyline and it really is fascinating to see what these three African American women have done to be honest. Out of these three women, Taranji P. Henson is the main focus of the film. Of course Octavia Spencer does have her moments of shine and Janelle Monae, although she has the least amount of screen time out of these three. She was definitely really good as well. And that's something I gotta say straight up. These performances right here, from Taraji P. Henson to Octavia Spencer to Janelle Monet, these three women have done such a great job of bringing these women to life. Kevin Costner, of course, to no surprise, he is fantastic here. Kevin Costner is personally one of my favorite actors working today, so he is really good in this film. Jim Parsons, he acted well here. Kirsten Dunst, I will say she's fine. To be honest, it's not exactly her best role when it comes to acting, to be honest, but she's fine. The cinematography for the film is actually really great. I did really like how the film was shot. It does look very clean. It looks clear. You do feel like you're in the 1960s. Theodore Melfi, he does do a pretty good job of writing the script for this film. And something I do appreciate about these kind of movies is how it brings up the harsh subject matter of how prejudiced people really were were back then and even as of today to some extent there could even be some prejudiced people out there and it's just horrible seeing it and it's honestly really refreshing when I watch stories like this because you know sometimes we really don't realize how hard it is for the African Americans until once we actually see it brought up to the big screen like we saw that in films like 42 we saw that in films like 12 years a slave any other films that have been coming out lately that would address this kind of issue and I thought hidden figures thanks to Theodore Melfi's writing I thought that aspect was actually handled very well for the movie I also do have to say Hans Zimmer's score was actually really good in this film I thought the score definitely fit for the movie and I have to say that Pharrell Williams who actually did do the soundtrack for Hidden Figures was really great. The one soundtrack that would be used uh, constantly in the film is the running soundtrack. Whenever a character is running, particularly with Taranji P. Henson, I notice that the film is always playing that Pharrell Williams soundtrack dealing with running whenever a character in the movie is running which one it actually did fit well for the film but two it actually did play well for some very nice comedic relief and that's something I'll say this film is inspiring this film is made to inspire you and to make you feel good it's definitely the definition of a crowd-pleasing movie but it's also a film that while yes has dramatic moments it also does have have some comedic relief to it like there's plenty of light-hearted comedic stuff to the film and of course the climax of the movie was really nice I did really like with what we saw in the climax and it's no spoiler because we do get to the space mission and Theodore Melfi also did a really good job directing this film he did know how to take you in the 1960s which is something I do really appreciate now hidden figures yes as you can expect this is a by-the-numbers movie you do know 
know how this film is gonna go from the first act to the second act to the third act. It is something that you see a lot in these biopics where it does feel very by the numbers. However, that's not really too big of an issue with me because I was engaged with the film. But I will say as far as flaws go, the film is a little bit slow paced in my opinion. There would be times where the film is a little slow to me. I do think that Janelle Monae, although she was really great, she is underused to be honest and they don't really show enough of what she did for NASA. Like in the beginning, the film gives you a nice little hint and then after that, the film doesn't really focus on what Janelle Monae does for NASA. It It'll focus mainly on Taranji P. Henson and in some scenes Octavia Spencer, but Janelle Monet, as far as what she does for NASA, I thought she was honestly very underused. And of course, by the second half of the film, there is a certain subplot dealing with Janelle Monet, which I won't spoil, but you know, even with the subplot that she had, she still felt pretty underused, especially when you compare to Octavia Spencer and Taranji P. Henson. So I just wish that Janelle Monet uh, definitely had as much screen time as pretty much Octavia Spencer and Taranji P. Henson did. And I will say that Kirsten Dunst and Jim Parsons, while Kirsten Dunst I think is fine and Jim Parsons is good, I do think that their characters are just your cookie cutter, generic, prejudice characters. Overall, Hidden Figures is a solid feature. I think it's a breath of fresh air. It is really nice to get a biopic like this uh, because seeing what these three women had to deal with, the mathematical data that they had to solve in order to make sure that this space mission becomes successful, the first ever one, it really is inspiring. So it it is a very well told movie with great performances, really good writing, really good direction, beautiful cinematography, great soundtrack from Pharrell Williams, a great score. It is by the numbers and yes you can get an idea of where the film's going to end but it's about the journey to destination. I say the journey to destination and the destination to itself was very engaging in my opinion. So I'm going to give Hidden Figures 3 out of 4 stars. So you guys, in the comments down below, let me know what you think about Hidden Figures. This is 22 Tiger Dude here, and don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!